Hey, coach. Yeah, I'll tell the team coach. Yeah, I'll run out and tell them now. Hi, everyone. It's Libby Birch here from NAV AFL Auskick at home. And this week, it's episode four. I'm here to show you that you can still have the best first experience at football in the comforts of your home with your family and loved ones in your backyard, in the lounge room, in the kitchen. Let's go. I'm going to ask the coach what we're up to this week. Coach, what are we up to today? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She says today is all about being a great teammate. So today at NAB AFL Auskick at Home, let's learn all we can about being a great teammate on the field. Let's go. Being a good teammate is all about supporting each other, giving each other heaps of pats on the back, a high five here and there, and heaps of encouragement. Great job, Barry, you're doing awesome. High five, high five, pat on the back. Being a great teammate is also about picking your teammate up when they've had a great effort. Well done, great work. That was an awesome ground ball. Good job, Elizabeth, let's go. Now, before you start any game or any Oz kick, make sure you shake hands with your opponent. Now, Barry's a bit tall, he's about 6'1", so he has to bend over for me. All right, let's have a great game, Barry. All right, every NAB AFL Oz kick at home starts with a warm-up. Today, we've got a couple of games for our warm-up, so grab mum, dad, your guardian, sister or brother, or Barry, the uh, pretend opponent that you've made for today's game. The next game is all about touching your opponent's knees. Now you've got to try and touch it as many times as you can, and you've got to try and evade your partner's hands from touching your knees. All right, we ready to go? Let's do it. Are you doing it? Run to me. <laughs> Wait, run to me. Yeah, oh. Go. Good job, come on. The next game is all about testing your reactions. So, with your teammate in front of you, you've got a cone or a football in between you at equal distance, hands behind your back. When the whistle goes or there's a clap or a sound, it's a race to see who can pick it up. All right, I'm gonna win. Listen for that whistle. <laughs> Eyes of Steel is listening out for the whistle. <laughs> yeah, I got you again. Yes! Make sure you keep doing it until you're happy, warmed up, and ready for some Ozki. All right, it's time to play Angry Ogre. Now, Elizabeth back there, my teammate, is going to play Angry Ogre. Now, when she turns around, it's up to me to try and steal those box of balls that she's got in front of her. But if she turns back around to face me and her eyes are on me, I've got to freeze. Then she'll turn around again, and I can creep up. If she faces me again, I gotta freeze. Let's play. She's moving out. Yes. I can go, I can go. <gasps> I can go. Oh, yeah! Barry! Hey, mate! High five! What's happening? Lizzie, Elizabeth! All right, it's time to get your teammates together. I'm on the NAV AFL Auskick at home bench. I've got the coach on the line. I've got my teammates around me. Make sure you get some teammates around you at home. Mum, Dad, your guardian, or carer for today's session. Let's do it. She spoils it through. Pass to her opponent. Now, one of the best things you can do for your teammates on the field defensively is spoiling. Now, spoiling is a really strong fist and punching through the ball so it clears the area so that your teammates can get the advantage. Now, today, we're gonna try some spoiling. So I want you to work on some punches in the air, nice and strong wrist, thumb out and strong fist. Punch in the air like so, great work. Then I want you to get a nice soft ball, a nice or a flat footy. I've got a flat round ball here. And I want you to just punch it up to yourself, catch it with two hands. Punch it up to yourself, catch it with two hands. Punch and catch, punch and catch. Now your teammates will love you if you can spoil the ball away from your opponent's hands. The next thing I want you to try and do is try with a footy if you didn't already in the last game-based activity. So pick a footy out. Now, remember, spoiling is really important. Try and hit the middle of the ball. We want to hit the middle of the ball, not the ends. Throw it up to yourself and try and hit it up. Perfect, so make sure our eyes are focused on the middle of that ball there. Now, if you can, try and get multiple spoils in a row. This works on our hand-eye coordination. Let's go. 
One, two, three, four. Oh no, how many can you get? Once you feel confident with your spoiling, I want you to get as many balls as you can, put it in a box, and get your teammate to throw them at you. Now you're also gonna need another teammate to stand there and be an opponent for you, because you're gonna come around and be defensive and spoil that ball away from your opponent. Oh, spoil, spoil, over the top spoil. Oh, round the chop, it's an umpire's chop. There, round the other side, use your left hand as well. Awesome, awesome job. Spoiler ball, great work. Come on, Elizabeth, you gotta mark these. Keep going. Any more balls? No, two, four, ten, Mary. You are right, Mary? And there's been a mark. Make sure you get on the mark. All right, the most important game-based activity is actually making sure we get up to the mark when our opponent takes the footy. Now, it's really important we do this because it delays the play so that we can get our teammates in position. Now, this game is about footwork. It's gonna get our heart pumping, our breathing up, Every time the whistle blows, I want you to get to a cone, man the mark hard. When the whistle blows again, get to another one, man the mark hard, and we're gonna keep going for 30 seconds. Let's do it. Take your kid, come on, come on. Go on, Barry. Go on, Barry, kick over me. Under the pressure, last one. Get your feet moving, east first, east first. The next game-based activity is all about manning your opponent and then getting up the ground to intercept the footy. Now your teammates will love you if you get on your player, stick on them and wait for the opportunity to seize that possession for your team. Get your teammate to yell out which cone or which player to get to. So my teammate, I yell out, get to Elizabeth, get to Elizabeth. I've got to get to Elizabeth. If they yell out, get to Barry, Barry's fading away in the wind here. Get to Barry, get to Barry. I've got to get on him. And then as soon as I hear the word ball, I've got to sprint up, take the footy, mark it, or pick up a ground ball, or pick a handball up. Barry, 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 it's all right, mate. It's all right, no need to fall over. Barry. Elizabeth. That's ball. Oh, I'm taking a handball back. To add some more did goody, you can add cones and get your teammate to say left cone, right cone. So I'll place them down now. Right, start in the middle. Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. <laughs> left cone. Left cone. Barry. Barry. Ball. Ball. <laughs> One more. Right cone. Right cone. Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Where is she? Ball. Ball. Sorry, it's down. It's half time. Barry, he's injured. I'm gonna help him. Coach, I'll get him right for you. Yep, I'll strap it good. No worries. You hurt his shoulder in that last contest. Put some more tape on it. How's that, mate? Be better? Great. High five. Wave. Awesome. We're right. Hey, coach. Barry's right. We're ready to play. Let's go, Barry. teammate is all about trying your hardest to get the ball once you get the opportunity. So it could be a ground ball, but if you don't get that, you could go for the mark, then you could go for the tackle, the spoil. It's about second, third and fourth effort. So keep trying until your team wins that ball back. So what I've set up for game-based activities, second, third and fourth efforts, is I've got my two opponents here. Now these could be your teammates at home, so your family. I've got a wheelbarrow here for target. So if I get the chance to get a handball, I'm gonna hit the wheelbarrow. Next, if I get the chance to have a kick, I might kick down my backyard. If I get the chance to spoil, I'm gonna spoil Barry here. The point is set up your arena and be ready for anything, just like on a football field. Oh, ground ball, pick it up, in the wheelbarrow. Oh, this is... Oh, Mrs. Elizabeth. Oh, on it. Gets around. Kicks faithfully. Oh, handle. Yes. Second, third, fourth efforts on the fourth one. I finally got it in. Being a great team player is about being 
defensive. Now the next thing we're going to work on, the next game-based activity is working on our tackling technique with our teammates in our house. Technique training means we're not going really hard. If I was going over to Barry here, I'd give him a little cuddle almost and work on the technique. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to tackle right now. When we tackle, we wanna make sure our head goes under and across the body. We always wanna hug our opponent. So this arm reaches around Barry's back. This one locks on. We tuck our head under and we grab hold nice and tight. All right, we ready to do a few practices? Let's go. All right, guys, tuck under, hug, hold tight. Yeah, guys. All right, top sides. Tuck under, grab hold. Oh, glad Barry's a tough one. Grab hold. Good, Barry. One more. Great work, guys. Woo. The next thing that you can do for your team to be a great team player is shepherding. Now I've got the perfect game-based activity for you to work on at home so you can be a great shepherding player. Shepherding is a really important skill to practice because if you're guarding or pushing a defender away from your opponent near the ball, that means they've got easy access to run through, pick it up and score a goal. The aim of this game activity based drill is to keep your opponent away from your teammate when the ball comes through. Are you ready? Let's go. Cooper's ready. <laughs> oh, go, go, Elizabeth. Get the ball, get the ball, Elizabeth. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> Good, we've protected all three balls. My opponent hasn't got it. And if my teammate here had better running technique and ability to pick up the ball, she might have got through. The next game-based activity is all about trying to find your teammates with a handball or a kick. Now I've got Lizzie, Elizabeth and Barry behind me and I've got to try and find them with a kick or a handball. So absolutely nail them in the sweet spot on their chest. Now we do this in a game because football is all about team. Barry's calling his name, he wants it, he's got his hand up. Go guys. Oh, <laughs> That would have hurt that one. I think it's Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. She's been hit as well. Next time, try with handballs. All right, Barry. Oh, Barry hurt. That one hurt. Let's go. Nailed her. Oh, woo. For cool down, we're going to be doing some football related stretches. Now, Barry here. His legs are so exhausted from today's session that he's actually sitting down. I don't think Barry's up for a cool down. Are you, are you up for a cool down, Barry? So what I want you to get, a footy, and we're gonna sweep the chickens. So we're gonna usher the chickens this way. And this is stretching the back of our legs. So holding the footy while you do it. All right, next, we're gonna bend down with the footy and just bounce up and down. You can even bounce it on the ground if you want it. Nice and slow, we're cooling down. Next, we're gonna do a quad stretch. Try and reach out with your footy. Hold, balance. Great work, swap sides. Balance. Amazing, great work. We're gonna hold our footy and we're gonna try and reach for our foot. Can everyone touch your toes? On the side, Barry, come on. We're sitting down now, surely you'll be able to touch your toes. Cross your legs, ball between your legs. Just gonna stretch the inside of our thighs. All right, standing up. Barry, we are done today. Well done, mate. I think you need to do some rest and recovery. The phone dream. Coach is upstairs. It was a great session, wasn't it, coach? Yeah, we all learnt so much about what it takes to be a great team out on the field. Yep, I'll tell them. The coach said that if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this one, more of me showing all the skills of the AFL at NAB AFL Auskick at home.